G'day mate and welcome back to the second part of this this oil tutorial series and we can basically continue where we left off um, up top right hand corner hopefully you'll find a link to the last episode where we covered you know basic oil and and, and how to set a couple of things up um, this episode we're going to start covering really the smarts of a system and, and how to how to make sure that you don't end up in trouble um, by doing exactly what we've done here and having no lubricant but heaps of heavy oil because you know things don't process fast enough so what we do is we swap over to a smart system uh and i need wire so we at the moment we've got plenty of heavy oil because we're, we're pumping out our excess which is slowly drying up but once that's gone or heaven forbid we end up backed up with petroleum um or backed up with light oil and things don't run anything like that um and we end up without lubricant it means potentially our purple science would stop working so we need to make sure that these pumps which are directing which way the fluids go only run when we want them to run which means either we come over here and we manually remove and add pumps and turn them backwards and forwards and all sorts of things or we just make them a little bit smarter so we're going to take our wire and we're going to link it from the pump to our lubricant tank and as you can see it's got a little red light on the on the side of it that just says i'm off we're going to change that to say lubricant is a greater than zero it suddenly runs except we actually want it when it's greater than twenty thousand. if we set it to less than twenty thousand, you see the light goes green it runs beautifully heavy oil comes out that end but we actually want it as a greater than twenty thousand. so once there's twenty thousand lubricant here this pump will switch on we'll start cracking heavy oil you know the whole system's backed up at the moment but that's a separate issue um, we also want to do the same with our light oil so we want to say this particular pump here linked to that one and that one linked there these both instantly have red lights on them they instantly stop working all right and we can go back to this one we can see all that heavy oil's drained out and if i put a fluid source on here and say hey you fill the tank with lubricant as soon as it got to 20,000 this light turns back on that pump starts running again and we've got heavy oil entering our system to get cracked um, now as I said this is a perfect ratio for everything or as close as possible everything that comes out of this refinery will get cracked into petroleum the catch is it's not designed to deal with all the stuff we tanked up earlier so first off, we want to make it smart. Secondly, we definitely want to upgrade it to, to handle more and more processing. We want this pump, which is linked to our light oil, to say, hey, if our light oil is greater than 10,000, run. Because we do want some light oil left over for solid fuel to put in your tank or in your trains or in your smelting if you happen to be short of coal, or eventually at a later stage to make that solid fuel to make rocket fuel. Now, because this leaks into another pump, you'll see this pipe is currently empty. It's only being fed by the heavy oil to light oil cracking. We want to add a second condition, and we could do it with combinators and all sorts of things, but the easiest way to do it is link a pump to a pump. If this light is not green and this light is not green, they don't run. It's as simple as that. Um, same story, we want to say, hey, if petroleum is less than... 10,000. Uh, okay, we're running out of the stuff. Please turn on this pump. So as it stands right now, we're taking our heavy, we're cracking it into light oil. All right, we're taking our light oil. We're doing absolutely nothing with it because we've got too much petroleum, which also means at the same token, our refineries are completely backed up. They have nowhere to send their light oil their heavy oil and their petroleum because we're just not using the petroleum if i put a magic fluid void here and drain this tank you'll see as soon as it gets down to ten thousand, this one will turn on and we can start cracking our light oil there we go hell we can even drain this tank just about um, which will happen obviously over time at the moment, we're actually using that petroleum as fast as we're getting. Even though we've got these storage tanks, which are almost empty, we can actually start recycling those. And when when you pick, that's another thing. When you're picking up tanks by hand, not via robots, 
This one's got 150 in it. This one's got 160. I picked that one up. That one's got 300. It forces the liquid in only into the tank beside it. If it's a tank and a pipe, it, it, it's not enough for it. And this is why we left these two tile gaps to put pumps in to force these tanks to empty. So you can see that one's there. I got 300. That one I have 450-ish. That one's got 300 again. 300. Empty. Done. We've cleared out all that space. Same can apply with heavy oil. So I've got 6.3, 6.3. This one's now got 12. Uh, we can get up to 17k. So we're going to make sure we've got enough room in that tank to hold the total amount. So we can destroy these one at a time. Tanks hold 25,000. So we've got to let them level out just a little bit. 13, 12, 12. There we go. So we get rid of that one as well. 12k, 17k, uh, those two will fit together, 21k, maybe if I leave this long enough I could balance those three into just two tanks, uh, that long, there we go. So it's as quick as that to, to pick up what we had and, and gain back some area, right, to have just a little bit more working space, we can just pick up the tanks as they empty. Right, and and put them back into good use. Still, our refiner is not running because our light oil and our heavy oil are both backed up. So we're going to have to wait a while before our refiner is ticked back in, which is probably a good thing. The catch is we don't have a lot of petroleum because this is ratioed out. Because the refineries are backed up, they've stopped working. So we're only basically running at single speed. If we, or is it the next one, it's the next one. So if we double our cracking, which is, is very easy to do, this is the exact same as this. It's just being, you know, uh, they've been cleaned up. Uh, that pipe runs to there. So we need to have a, a separate pipe for our plastic, which is good. Oop. Yeah, is good if you want to put a pump on it for flow control. Um, all our heavy oil is finished with, all our light oil is finished with, because this one's been running for quite some time and has cleared out all its excess fluids and is currently backed up on light oil. So this refinery is perfectly balanced. It turns on. It makes heavy oil, as long as we've got 20,000 lubricant, it then takes the excess heavy oil, and because we've now got twice as many heavy to light cracking, and twice as many light to petroleum cracking, right, it can get through these tanks a lot faster. But eventually, left long enough, it's gonna back up as well, unless we actually have a draw on the petroleum, which we currently do not. So let's add a... Draw, and we'll put this down on plastic, because let's be honest, plastic's the one thing we tend to use the most of. And as you can see, it instantly kicks to life. So our heavy was already empty because, hell, we've got enough lubricant, we'll just pump out whatever's left. Um, if I put that same void on here and drain this tank real quick, you'll see, again, this light turns off. We start getting heavy because we're going to turn it into lubricant. Till the tank fills back up and it is set to 20k which is an awful lot of lubricant but at the end of the day if anything goes wrong you don't want things to turn off having a a, a big a tank takes up the same amount of room no matter what so i prefer to have a very very full tank in case in case things hit the fan rather than a tank that's only a quarter full when things go wrong so Heavy is going to stack up. It's going to get turned to lubricant. And as you can see, pretty much as fast as we can make heavy, it's getting turned to lube. Um, our petroleum is absolutely empty because this void is just sucking up everything. And our light is turning on as long as we have 10k and 10k in both these two tanks. Um, because we have twice the cracking power, these tanks will end up emptying fairly... Yeah, this tank will end up emptying fairly quickly. The best way to fix that is we go up to the next iteration where, well actually we come back to this iteration and we just double the refineries and double the refineries hell have some more refineries 
because it's a smart system, one of two things are going to happen. Either these tanks are going to stop and fill up, or um, you'll finally get to a situation where you run out of oil or you have too much petroleum. It, it is a smart system. It's going to work dynamically, mostly, because you are limited by the amount of cracking you have. I just quadrupled the size of oil processing. Uh, so technically, I could, I should quadruple the size of my cracking. At the end of the day, if I come back here in, in half an hour or an hour and find out I've got too much heavy oil, then as long as I stay off this pump, I can double it and double it and double it and double it until I don't have too much heavy oil. If I've then got too much light oil, because this tank is full, you know, both these pumps are running flat out, we still don't have enough petroleum, this tank is full, then Obviously, my problem is with light oil cracking. So again, I just double it and double it and double it until, again, eventually, this tank is not full anymore. It's, it's come down to the magic 10k I've told it to stay to, and everything's peachy. Um, like right now, I can see, you know, this is not running fast enough. So we're not making lube fast enough to get up to that magic 20k number. So we can do. Uh, doesn't help if I've rotated one of them. Let's go that way. Thank you. Uh, bring that up to there, that up to there, that up to there. Hook that one in there. That was an important power pole. Straight away. Vastly increased the amount of lube output. Hopefully this tank starts coming back down to a reasonable number. If not, and and I'm not getting lubricant again, uh, you know, fast enough again, just double it again. Anyway, this has been too long already, so thank you guys for watching. As always, um, there are links to the playlist in the description, along with uh, along with at the end of the video. And in the next episode, I'm going to hopefully start covering beacons and modules and all that sort of fun stuff. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.